Okay, so today we're going to be repairing this center console. And I didn't even know when I bought this car that these have a pneumatic strut that sit behind them underneath this panel here. So when I open mine, it just drops. Completely drops to nothing. It should come up to here, stay there, which it does stay, but then you should be able to force it back down and feel the pressure of the cylinder sitting behind it. So, you need to get a new cylinder. So when you open this up, there are two screws there. Two little torque screws, I think. Take them off, which I'll just do now. Okay, so these are T20 torque bits. Torque bits, sorry. And it's two T20 torque screws. So just go ahead and remove these right now. With them removed, we should be able to remove this panel here. It should just pop out. With great difficulty, one handed, of course. There we are. We'll give this a clean while it's out, as we do. We can do things properly around here. And there is a little cylinder that we need to remove. And this is a little screw in one which will take out um, and replace the brand new one. And these are really expensive, about 50 pounds to buy this little pneumatic gas strut. To put that in comparison, I just bought two new ones for the trunk. Both of them together were 25 pounds. So this little so-and-so is obviously specific to this car in some way and it's really expensive. So let's go ahead and get that out. So, this is held in with a little circlet there, see it? So we can try and get that out with a pair of those pliers. So we'll try and get that out with this, that should just pull right off. Like so. Okay, focus. Put that there. There we are. Now this pin should remove and chances are this little guy here will ping because he's compressed right now. So I'm going to open up the console and just ignore the warning message I'll get in the dash. Ping, thank you. And we'll just pull that out. Like that, there we are. That's it removed. So we're going to get a new one and put a new one in. Okay, so on the left we have the original OEM strut, stabilist lift on that. Number of it there if you're interested. And on the right, we have the new strut. Now, when I got this through the post, the body of the strut is a little bit longer, but the overall length is the same. Okay, so usually you would go for the same length of gas strut. However, this one is going to fit as well, according to the number and stuff. There's a the number of this one here, it's a nitro lift. So, if you're thinking about buying one of these and you're not sure, ooh, don't use go away. You see what I mean, look, see? The body of this new one is just slightly longer. And if I line them up properly, the overall length is pretty much the same. So let's try this, right? Okay, if it doesn't work, you can thank me later for not wasting your money, but if it does work, I'll take a screenshot of that part number, you can buy this.
much cheaper than getting it from Mercedes. Let's go. Okay, so to install, you're looking for the threaded part of this little shelf or bracket. And we'll just thread this one in. We won't thread anymore. Dave Newton meters of torque, as they say. 100 Dave Newton meters of torque will do it nicely. And we'll line it up so that that is in line for putting the pin in. So now for the tricky bit of compressing this so you can get it. So to make it slightly easier, we'll lift up the top of this and see if we can hold it in place. And we're almost there, you see? I can practically compress that with my thumb. I'm only a few mil out. So you're never going to do this by hand. It's just too tough. So let's see how we can do this. <clears throat> okay, so I've seen some people on the web putting like string through that hole and pushing really hard down on it just to give it that extra little bit of compression. But it is actually an easier way that I've found. You lift up the centre console, there is a sticking point there, just a little bit of pressure and it will pop past that sticking point and your strut will just fall into place like that right and you can put the pin in the circlip and you can push this back you don't have to compress the the rod by yourself so we'll do that again right so you lift up the center console flap but we'll stop there just shy of when that's going to fit in just a wee bit of pressure don't be scared it just drops into place and you don't have to fight with it. So I um, appreciate some people have got a video on this already, but I think that way is perhaps easier. Uh, you don't have to wrestle with the thing. So I'm going to go and fit the pin back in and we'll join it with the circlip going back into place. Okay, so that is now on the top rung. Now I fitted the bottom one was the one, the hole that was used for the original one, but this one just seemed to fit in nice and snug using the top hole on this bracket here. So all I need to do now is fit the little circlip on the end of it and we're good to go. And this little pin just has got a little ridge on it there, you can see that? The little ridge, that's where the circlip will go. So I'm gonna use two hands to do that because if I drop the circlip down there, I'm not gonna have a good night. So I'll pick it up and I'll put the circlip back in. That back panel back in, simply, Reinstall the two torque screws. You feel it getting tight. That's it. And this one. Good at this one handed stuff. Right, and that's us. And then how good is that? And now, centre console lifts up by itself and it's sprung. Job done. That's it. Thanks for watching.